our super latest meeting um, on what's the next one? Oh, 420. Um, no relation. And so now we're going to go through Life we went all the way through Scandia 2, I believe, and Scandia 3. So now we're going to walk through some of the other ones. So somebody explain Hack Brain to me. Um, So all you have to do is call parent dot all uppercase window. Winning, you mean? Uh, probably winning, actually. Yeah. I'm guessing what I have in here is not right now. Um, but before you do that, you probably need to, you should be getting, so if you look at the console, you should be getting an error on your console. Says you won, it's not sandbox done. access violation blocked. Yes, so turn off sandbox checking, turn off the same origin policy checking in your browser, and then run the same command. <laughs> <laughs> I said, <laughs> I said, I said it was, it was, was it cheating? I I have an alternative solution, but I haven't gotten it to work yet. I have an alternative possibility, I should say. <coughs> Is that, I mean. It gets you the win, technically. It gets you the flag, but the, I mean. Yeah, I mean, you can always call the alert function. From, Which is what I was doing for zero character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Figure out how the game works and do it that way. Oh, I tried sense. that. I mean, I yeah, tried to post. Call in turn, yeah. I tried to you post to back or whatever. The iframe, they call alert, and it just works. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that would make sense because it's yeah. yeah. I actually did the zero on that one. Yeah. Um. So. I say no. Okay. <laughs> but I don't know. There's an alternative that I haven't gotten to work yet, but is possible. If you take that URL that they have there, yeah, and copy it into your just to do a browser window, and replace 4iam with alf.new. It works. So. Oh, so maybe it was like what Jan was saying last time. Of we get, create we create an, a new iframe to this guy with JavaScript code that can walk up parent to parent to call. Window. Yeah, that was my hope. I haven't gotten it to work yet. When I got the say, when I got the other way to work, I was like done. <laughs> but ideally, the situation would be this is like running on someone else's server, and we'll now the, whatever the, we're doing. The we'll solutions the were the best solutions. Thirteen characters. So I don't. Oh. I did some. Oh, I think I ended I think up doing it that way. Yeah. Like, this I, feels like a real way to do it. Is. Yeah. Well, so here's the here's the other issue. Yes. Yeah, is that your origin is set to null. And so that's the hang up that I got with doing it this way. But when I set a, when I create a new iframe, that should have the new origin of this guy. It could. You it could try it. Just do parent dot or with window lot. dot top dot mm -hmm. alert. Well, inside of script tags, but no, I need the URL encoded. No, you don't have to. Oh, there you go. It'll do it for you. You have an Emacs script URL encoded. I do. Is that built in, or is that? Uh, no, it's a custom. Thank you. 
like this, which shows us the iframe here. And then a document. Document, so inside this document is another iframe. This is the 4IM iframe, and inside there, HTTPS or HTTP? What? Uh, I am, oh, I'm on HTTP. Parent, parent's not enough. What do you it mean? needs to be like parent, 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 uh, parent, well, parent, parents. parent. Yeah, there's a lot. So you just I try top. Yeah, something like that. Top, top. If you look at how their code actually works, they do. There's it's embedded several times, which is all the clicking you have to do in the. Right. Okay. To look into here. Yeah. Oh, it's inside of script tags. Oh, right, because it, Cause it auto adds the script tag, so just escape a script tag. Yeah. Now you can see the iframe. But we're still not getting that. Did you do window.top or did you do? I just did top. Did I do window.top? I thought it was window.top, but it may not be. Well, Are we getting the same origin error? A wind top is not defined. Oh, yeah, you gotta spell it right. That's outrageous. Window? It's hard to spell. What is. Oh, you know what? It's not. Try like three parents. It's not in top either. Winning's not in top, it's in. Yeah, see if that works. Maybe try one more. And keep going. Wait, I need to actually call it though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that makes it. Let's start back at two. Or one. Now you're getting that null thing again. Yeah. Maybe there's something special. When you do, like yeah. window, when you do window dot parent, won't you be in the context of the four I frame and won't be able to do dot parent again through the same oh. version? Yeah, so zero idea. you probably have to go top and then child. Yeah. Or top and then get element by, or get element ID. Element, or uh, tag, get, get tag. Wait, 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 I have too many. many. To do URL encoded in Emacs.
parents do you think? Well, he brought up a good point. When you go to this next parent, you hit the, you're on the WI. You're on the other website. So, so can you, you even go to parent? the context of the origin of 4i? So you do top and then can you go backwards? Yeah, then? that's what I've said. You have to go top, how find it, the div. How is the same origin policy enforced? Is it like attached to the elements themselves? Good question. I do not know. I mean, all it states that you can't run JavaScript from a different mm -hmm. server on the current server. Yeah. <coughs> But we have like this thing where Which it it's seems our like it server, would, would be to do and then inside of it's yeah. the 4i, and then inside of that is ours, right? Can we go top and then back down one? That's the question. Yeah. Does the iframe have like a name? Yes. No, well, you can do a find by tag, get an element by tag name. And then just find the iframe. Mm, well, yeah, just search for iframe then. I guess search by iframe has on load equals u1. Sorry, no, epic no. fail. It's uh, I mean, it's a good workaround. I just don't think we're quite there. But I, I feel like this should be it. It should know. It should be able to figure out who's the caller, like what caller the original object is in when it's accessing something. I feel like the SOP is enforced in the browser JavaScript engine somewhere, but mm -hmm. I don't actually know where. So anyway, figures this out. They should probably email the list because I think we'll move on. All right. T Sam. T Sam. I feel like I got close on it, but. No, you finished it. No, 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 I didn't. No. No, no, no I got an iframe. No. Maybe do this one? When you were working on it, I spent so long working on this one, I thought I'd gotten it. And I was able to get. I was able to figure out a few things. So when it does the image source, it is executing whatever's in there. So if you have an HTTP request, which you have to to get there, um, it will execute it. But there's no way. Image source right, only goes and fetches something. So it will hit some end. Well, it'll run a JavaScript as well. You don't think it will? Why would it fetch and not run? But you can't. You're not getting it into there with job. You have to have. You have to prepend it with alert. Yeah, with that. And so I think that the HTTP is over. Yeah. Is setting. You know it. it yeah, I play with that. It's got to be the first. Yeah. But anyways.
And so the tricky thing here is you can only use these characters that are not within double quotes. So you can use any characters within double quotes, but you can't use any of, or in, sorry, the rest of it can only be these specific characters. Uh, and so what we had to do was we had to use an object, call value of, create a value of property, even though you can't use these characters inside double quotes, it still works and it still works with the object. Then we get, we can do self. So the other thing I did was I ran a JavaScript function to evaluate this across all of the um, all of the global objects in Windows. So then I saw that self alert, and there's one other one actually passed these checks. Was so it self pass? Uh, S, there's E, L, F, and I think S is between R and U. Dash oh, oh yeah, yeah. It means everything from yeah, R to right. U. So then we called the easy but expensive way out, and then I was going to pull my hair out because when you do this, it doesn't work. It gives you zero uh, because it, you called alert zero. So you have to then do call it again. again. It was brought back from the edge. <laughs> and you can see it here in the output alert zero. So the broom was the one we just solved right before recording this. Oh, actually. Yes. Um, instead of calling it twice, can you, in the first half, uh, you already have access to self, and maybe you can somehow access I and set it equal to one. Uh, the, can so you do that? possibly the key problem is I. So A, you can't use equal sign in here. Mm. So you can't use the equal sign, and then B, the important thing about I here is that I's scope is only in this function. Mm. So even if you set I equal to one. It's not going to change this specific I, because the I that we refer to in this scope is going to be a global I that we just created. Um, I'm thinking about other ways. Like you may be, like, you may be able to do something weird if you if you got access to this, you may be able to access the closure because basically this function is going to close over this I variable and have a reference to it. So there may be some way to access it. But yeah, no, that would be a good other way to do it. Cool. And Brune was incredibly difficult. Um, apparently, JavaScript is this horrible syntax of interpreted strings. Where did we look at this? So luckily, we use that same handy dandy uh, stack overflow invoking a function without parentheses. And this took us to template literals was one of these. So this one's really difficult because you can't use uh, new lines, you can't use semi, you can't use slashes, so no slash u nonsense, uh, no semicolons, no commas, no parentheses, no brackets, no left angle braces. And it turns out that there is this template literals where you can put string text and you can, so the idea I guess looks to be like instead of creating strings by concatenating strings, you could do like PHP and embed expressions inside of your strings using backticks. The other crazy thing is you can put, if you put a function before this tag, so here's this my tag, and then we have a, a thing with backticks, and that calls this my tag function, and it passes parts of the string to that function. Uh, so that's what we're using essentially here with this string dot from character code. So this will return, this will pass the string 42 into the string dot from character code, which will then, what does it do? Stuff, it does stuff. Oh. What does it do? Has on note. Uh, which is then, oh, then it will return the right parentheses character. But the trick is getting that to something that will actually execute and evaluate it. So if you try to pass that to eval, it won't work. Oh, if you try to pass it to alert, so the very first thing we did was,
number one and not a string one because that makes a ton of difference. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so annoying. So you can't do that and if you try to do so you think, oh, the next thing we do is we do one plus zero in here. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you get this alert thing which is what it's doing, which took us a while to find out. So this templating thing, when you pass it to this tag, if you have any string interpretations, each string interpretation is passed as a second argument. And then all the other strings are put into an array that's the first argument. So your first argument that you're passing to alert is essentially an empty array, or an array of length two with two empty strings in it. And for whatever reason, it, when it turns that into a string, it turns it like this. So that's why you need uh, this trick of basically, so the idea is we because we can't control, we can't, we want to do the string interpretation because we want to concatenate a string together and build up a string dynamically. But we can't pass that to the first argument of a function. So we found the function argument, the function will, Put essentially the I don't know, one of them will be one of its arguments will be this string that's here as this string interpretation. Uh, so here, then inside the string interpretation, we do alert, and then we concatenate string from character code using another backtick interpretation inside of the backtick interpretation, uh, which gives us the left quote. Concatenate that with one, and then concatenate that with the right quote, and somehow this works. So the first thing you do is just close the console.log. Uh, instead of the slashes, just do a semicolon. And then just go to JSF and then copy and paste. Oh, we have to end it with a semicolon and two slashes, yeah. Or two slashes. Well, you're not at 49. Nope. There seems to be a big difference here. Yes. But you did it with 86. Did you actually do it? Huh? No. No. It's getting like somehow messed up when I tried to make it zero, and it's like realizing there's an error, and it's like using my old stuff. And I don't know what's going on in the system. Were you just trying to do zero for all of them just to do it? Yeah. But it like breaks stuff. And so probably using the tricks that we've learned about yeah. at these other two levels, yeah. you can probably get this down to a reasonable size, but the no vowels thing is weird. Yeah. I just saw this and I was like, oh, they're not going to get rid of uh, yeah. brackets, so. Exactly. Brackets. So there's multiple versions of this, right? So yeah. Yeah, they probably get harder and harder in that aspect. Hmm. What's right. that regex for the second one doing? Replace all the X bar U zero zero. Yeah. What is that? I don't know. You'd have to use a JavaScript regular expression thing to like yeah. figure out what it's actually looking for. Who taught you regular expressions? You and Colburn. I don't remember what I bar know. square brace fifty seven right brace. Yeah. Alright, anybody have anything else to say? Goodbye. <laughs>